Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, konnichiwa. So, you read it in the title. Today, I'm only going to be feeding two tarantulas, and uh, let me explain. So, essentially, all of my females are, well, all of my adults are pretty much well fed, so honestly, I can't really feed much this week. But next week, I may feed some juveniles, but overall the collection for the new year, or the beginning of this year, pretty much all of them are full, so I can't really actually feed a lot of my tarantulas when it comes to the adults. But these two are ready to go, and the reason why is because these two freshly molted last week. So this one here is my Chromatopema cyanopubescens, also known as the Green Bottle Blue. This is a young adult female. And she should be ready to breed. Now as I stated a few videos back, I had a male but I gave him away. And I do have an extra male. And this male is a bit more fresh so I may use him to pair with this female. But honestly I don't really know because uh, you know the first pairing I attempted here on the channel took a very long time. So honestly it's pretty much a high risk high reward at this point. And females are known for eating their males for this species. So honestly, it's pretty much a gamble. I may or may not take it. It it will just have to wait and see, honestly. But to look at that female, my goodness, those colors, <laughs> they do be hitting hard. And a lot of people ask me, how do I record with such a good quality? The two answers is camera and lighting. More importantly, the lighting, because I find that good lighting actually shows the colors and the details of the spider way more. And my preference is LED, white lights, because those actually will bring out the colors of the tarantula once you shine it down on them. So that's my preference in terms of colors and lights I use for my tarantula videos. And I hope that kind of clarifies some things because some people do ask about the colors and whatnot and how do you get them to show it more. And honestly, it really is just the lighting. But I really do hope that everyone here that is watching this video do enjoy this content. And if you do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and stay updated to the channel. I upload every single Friday, so please feel free to do so if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to stay updated whenever I upload on Friday. And uh, yeah, let us continue guys, because we have one more after this one, but this green bottle blue here will be ready to breed, and I don't know if I will or will not, but let me know down below. Do you want me to actually try to attempt breeding this? Because I, if I do, I most likely will cut out a lot of things or I may just do it off camera because I don't want to spend 11 hours or 10 hours for that matter sitting around doing nothing here. <laughs> because I tell you, it is true patience when it comes to breeding the green bottle blue because males are very timid and also very slow and cautious when it comes to breeding. But then again, that is a good sign because... It tells me that the male is at least not, you know, reckless. So you may be wondering, what am I going to feed next? What is the second tarantula? And the answer to that is the Anchetoscuria geniculata, also known as the Brazilian giant white knee. And uh, yeah, this female here, she's an adult female that freshly molted about a week and a half ago, so she's ready to go. And honestly, I rarely show this one, so this one is actually a pleasant to the eye for you viewers here. And these species are known for having the greatest appetites of all time. Like if you actually want a tarantula that actually eats, this is the species I recommend. They're very common around the hobby and they're very affordable and they grow fast too. So if you're looking for a tarantula that grows fast and eats very well, this one is the one to get. So some people may be wondering if I have this adult female, why don't I breed her? And the answer is because this species actually lays a lot of eggs. You are talking from hundreds of eggs to thousands of eggs. So if you actually produce this species, selling these are actually pretty hard to get rid of. So I actually recommend this tarantula more for a pet rather than a, you know, a breeder because if you actually breed this species, I'm warning you, getting rid of this species is not easy like for a sale because the hobby is so saturated with them at this point. It's pretty difficult for a lot of people to sell them and I'm not... Look, I don't hate this species, but in all truth though, we're talking about the tarantula market. The tarantula market is flooded with these, so if you actually produce them, I wish you luck, but for me, I'm just going to keep mine as a pet. Now the only exception is if I'm doing a loan, or if I'm doing a loan and I let the other person keep the majority of the eggs, or the babies, because I don't want half the sack, because even for a loan of 50-50 is way too much for me. Like. I am not kidding when I say this species have a lot of eggs. They have a lot. Now I do have another adult female, 
but like I said, I don't really plan on breeding this species. I more so just keep this as a pet, but who knows, maybe there will be a time when I'll actually decide to breed this species, but as of now, my two females here, or this female you're seeing now, I don't have any plans of breeding her. I do love her to death though, so she's gonna eat good. <laughs> she's gonna eat like a literal Thanksgiving. And don't get it twisted everybody, I love the species. It's just that the market is not really profitable, if you understand where I'm coming from. I know that species is one thing, but at the same time the market is another, so take that with what you will I guess. And take this as a precaution as well for those future breeders who are thinking about breeding the species. But hey, I'm not stopping you. If you love this species, by all means, please feel free to do so. But I'll give this species a hard pass. Now I don't have any plans for what I'll breed this year, to be honest. The only thing I'm thinking about is my Harpactera pulchropes once those females grow up to be a breedable size. But that pretty much won't happen until either later this year or early of next year. So we kind of had to wait and see. And for breeding projects, I may slow down this year so that way I can focus more on what I have now. But yeah guys, this is a new year, so let's see what this year goes. So, without further ado, I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this content, and hit the bell icon to stay notified whenever I upload on Fridays. I upload every single Friday here on the channel, and also follow me on my social medias. And with that, stay lax, and Laxo out. From the Kumo Sensei.